Saturday the 22nd is the first day of class. And so I thought I would take you on a tour of where you need to go in order to participate in our class and what you need to do. And there's no time like the present, so let's get to it. Here we are at Google, and I'm going to go to our website. Normally, I would just click my icon, my NWAC icon right there, but the web page is www.nwacc.edu. We're going there. Okay, Northwest Arkansas Community College. I'm going to log in by going to where it tells me to uh, log in. You'll log in with your username and password, your NWAC username and password. If you don't know it, learn what it is. Now, I'm going to go over here to Canvas. I could have chosen to go directly to Canvas, but I wanted to show you where there are some things for students as well as teachers. But right now we're going to Canvas. Here we go. This is called the dashboard. You find which class you want to visit. And you click on it. The first thing you see are two links. This is the link to our class meeting. And this is the link to my help times or office hours. You can also make an appointment with me for a private time. Now we're going to be meeting tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 10.50 a.m. That's right, you elected to take a course that you'll only show up at once a week for almost three hours. And I chose to teach it. How about that? Um, the help times are just what they say. They're from four to six. Actually, they're really from three to six and seven to nine. And I'll let you know this a little after the course has started. But for the sake of the bosses, I have to put down exact times. So for them, the exact time is four to six. But for us, I'm available a lot more often. This is the uh, menu, okay? And we can go to announcements. And I haven't put an announcement in there yet. I should have already had one that says, welcome. Then we do the most important thing. Go to syllabus. There are a lot of links here. But really, you need to look through all of them because this semester is different from any semester I've ever taught in and I've been teaching at NWAC for 20 years. Wow. Yeah, but you have a lot of new stuff, okay? Now first, here's how you can contact me. You go to contact your professor, the math advisor, and the admin of the math department. Okay, and there it is. I didn't need to do that. There's a quicker way. So you don't need to take notes on this now because it will always be there for you. All I really have to do is click on each of these little guys for PDFs. Now, how to go to class. That takes us back here. Here's how you go to class, right here. And you're going to have the option to Use Microsoft Teams as an app that you've already downloaded to your desktop, which is better, or to just go to your web browser and use uh, Microsoft Teams there. Microsoft Teams is our conferencing software. 
I'm using Microsoft Teams right now to record this video. Back to syllabus. OK, how your class will be conducted. Well, you all would have already gotten an email from me talking about how the class is going to be conducted. And you can read all of this, but we're going to be meeting every Saturday, 8 a.m. to 1050. And we're going to go over new material then. But I'm available all during the week to help you. So you read through that. Back to syllabus. Now, my office hours, you also saw what those are. Now, download the Microsoft Teams app. That's a requirement. These bullet points right here are for the things that are required. So you can read how to download Microsoft. Oh, I didn't have to do that. You can read how to download step-by-step -step Microsoft Office for free, Microsoft 365 for free, and Microsoft Teams for free. But you really need to have already signed up for Microsoft 365 before you get Microsoft Teams. This is a step-by-step -step handout I made that tells you where to go and what to do in order to get Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams. You have to have Teams by tomorrow, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. OK, now we do all of our work in my math lab. So. Here's a step by step handout. <clears throat> I admit it's not very artful. OK, and it's not for your class in particular, it's for any class. But follow these steps. <coughs> excuse me. To sign up for Microsoft. Uh, well, you have to, you know, to sign up for Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft, no, no, no. To sign up for my math lab. There are too many M's here. Oops, my ear fell out. OK. So yeah, follow these steps, follow these steps. This is what you do. And then when you get to the end of it where you they ask you to pay, don't pay. Choose the access code because. Here is your my math lab registration number. There it is right here in yellow. But read the instructions and it will tell you all the money you save by registering this way rather than the old fashioned way where you have to pay more. Yes, financial aid will cover my math lab. It's paid out of your tuition and often if you're on financial aid, Financial aid pays your tuition, so it also pays your my math lab. But you get to pay about 40% less by registering for my math lab this way, and you also get the electronic textbook. OK, now register in ProctorU. We go back, we're still in class requirements. Register in ProctorU. ProctorU is how you're going to be tested. OK, this tells you all about it. You're going to have two chapter exams and a comprehensive final exam. Um, and how much each one costs, you'll pay every time you take a test. You can pay with a credit card, a gift card, a debit card, but you've got to do it this way because we don't have another way to do it right now. Our testing center does not have room for students to come in and take exams. So you're going to have to go through um, 
uh, Proctor U. And here are the instructions, including a video link that will make everything perfectly clear for you. Except you don't have to pay all at once. You don't have to pay $21.25 all at once. You pay $4.25 every time you take the exam. And suppose you make an A or a B on the exam. Well, you don't have to take it a second time. In fact, you never have to take it a second time. It's just offered to you. Read this to find out all about it and what you need to be able to use ProctorU. You need a high speed internet connection. You need close proximity to a router. That means you have to be near the router. You need a webcam. You need a microphone. Most of the time a microphone is in the webcam. You need a Windows or a Mac operating system. Won't work on your phone. Got to be on a computer or a laptop, which is a computer. Um, won't work on a tablet. It's got to be on a laptop or a computer. And of course, a laptop is a computer. Only use the Google Chrome browser. In fact, that's true when you're using my math lab also. Ju and especially to register for it. Just use the Google Chrome browser. OK, 525 per shot. Oh, yeah, and you need to have a valid ID, a government ID or an NWAC ID. And it's much easier for you to get an NWAC ID. So bring your NWAC ID. You're going to be holding it up in front of the webcam when you're asked to do so. Now, you're going to need a graphing calculator. My little handout. There you go, a TI-83 or plus, or a TI-84 plus, or a TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator. OK, coming down, 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 grading scale. You can read this, but this is how you make an A, make a B, C, D, F. Tells you what an NP is, tells you what a WN is, and it tells you what the exit criteria are. That is, your overall grade at the end of the semester must be a 70%, or you'll have to repeat the class. Okay, and here's how uh, uh, the, all of the points break down and all of the percents. So you see there really is everything here you need to know. Uh, your fall grades, let's take a look at this. There you go. These are the points in my math lab and in Canvas. And what percent every single little assignment is if you really want to torture yourself by looking at it. Well, hello, minimize, okay. Now let's look at the class calendar real fast. If you want an all color class calendar, here you go. Is that beautiful? I think it's beautiful. You might not, but it's what's due every day when your classes are, when the administrative drop days are, that is when you can be dropped for not doing enough work. All of that is in here. And when spring break is, and when Thanksgiving is, and when final exams are. Okay. And you have the NWAC official calendars. There are two of them. There's this. All of that information has already been put into the full color um, uh, 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 semester calendar that I made. OK, and then there's another official calendar. 
And it talks about book payments and book credits and golden age, age waivers and all that kind of thing that would be of interest to you. That's when they are. And we just saw them. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days, and you only have to choose one, right? But you have seven days to take the final exam. Now, my office hours, I already re repeated that. I guess it doesn't have to be there. Oh, where can you get help with math? That's really important. My office hours, which is what the, the school calls help times, um, and the Student Success Center. OK, and it, it shows you where the links are to all of this. The Student Success Center is a giant place here at NWAC. Um, but of course, we're not meeting face to face during the COVID-19 outbreak. So um, yeah, you can get to them online though, and by email. And the same is true for the Math Center, which is on the third floor of the uh, uh, Student Center, which is right behind Burns Hall. Um, oh yeah, I already did that. And here's this, there you go. And it talks to you about getting math help. They're still building their schedule. All right, now the attendance policy. Here the attendance policy would be whether you show up on the computer every Saturday from 8 to 10.50. And I don't worry about whether you're there or not. I worry about whether you're doing the work. To me, attendance is days you do the work, not just sit there in class listening to me. As a result, I make all of the videos on demand. I put them in YouTube. I give you the links uh, on Canvas. Um, and I haven't put them in yet, but they will be by tomorrow. OK, now we've got this is the boring stuff. You should read this um, when you're on the on the toilet. Or when you're going off to sleep, if you're feeling wide awake, just read this. You'll go right to sleep. It is the government stuff we have to tell you. And it's right here, right here for you to read. And the honesty policy and other rules, they're all here, too. In fact, if you want to read a lot of rules, let me take you to those. Go back to home. And look at all these buttons. These buttons are full of class policies. So don't worry. OK. So now your job is to go do the real thing. Go ahead, get into Canvas, register in my math lab. Remember that's located here when you actually go into it. But the actual how to's are right. Let's see, download Microsoft Teams. You need that. Otherwise, you can't be in class at all. And you could watch the videos, I guess. But you need Teams. You need Teams. Good people have Microsoft Teams. Not a good argument, is it? No. OK. Now, how to register in my, my, my math lab? Right here. Right here. Register in my math lab. That you, in fact, it would even be better to print it off if you have a printer um, so that you can follow the step by step steps. And then right below that is where you get that wonderful number that you have to put in, OK, in order to get that giant discount and to register. You're going to need to use this link to register for my math lab, or you're going to need to go spend more money and pay for your own. But one way or another, you're going to use a code. You might as well use the code that saves you money. OK, 
Does that sound good? I think it sounds great. Let's go back to me. Oh, I didn't show you something important. I didn't show you modules and grades and discussions because all of those are important to your grade. You've got my lab and mastering. Uh, which is where you do your homework. Uh, discussions, we're going to have discussions once a week. Two of them are already set up for you. Yes, this first one is due August 26, but it opens up tomorrow. And it's actually important asking, how are you dealing with all of these changes that you never asked for and I never asked for, nobody ever asked for it? How are you coping? OK. Um, under that, we have modules. Now, in the modules, right below the start here, in fact, here's how you make a module. I'm going to make a module called Weekly Assignments. Add module. There it is. And what I'm going to put in there are uh, my weekly videos and uh, videos and lecture notes about how to work the homework problems. And you'll discover that every homework problem has question helps you can click on, and those include videos, and those include the textbook, and animations, and all sort of sorts of stuff designed just to help you. So that eventually you may say to yourself, hey, I don't need a teacher at all. I've got my math lab. Well, cool, just don't get too, as your mother would say, don't get too big for your britches. Maybe your grandmother would say that. I'm your grandmother's age. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna let you go. You know everything now. And if you don't know everything, you know where to find out everything. And you know how to contact me, and I hope you will. Bye for now.